with uh, Icarus Instruments. And um, there are a few pieces of installed avionics that, believe it or not, are actually never turned on by their owners. Uh, an example of that would be an ADF receiver that gets turned on when the World Series is uh, underway. But some owners don't even know where one particular piece of avionics uh, is even installed in the aircraft. But it's a responsibility of all of your repair stations to ensure that this piece of avionics works reliably when and if it should ever be needed. And we know what that piece of gear is. It's called an ELT, and often uh, buried in the airplane. And in many cases, the pilot doesn't exactly know where it is or uh, what kind he might even have in his aircraft. So um, the ELTs come in uh, wonderful colors, uh, yellow and orange, and you've, you've all seen them. But what's really important, if we could roll the tape, that would be good. What's really important is that those ELTs need to be tested and tested properly uh, every, when they're first installed, of course, and uh, at the end time of the annual inspection. So Icarus is announcing today uh, a very sophisticated ELT tester that is meant specifically designed uh, as a ramp device uh, for use uh, in the hangar and on the ramp to test all types of ELTs. This is a three-band device. Uh, it will test 121.5, test 243 for the military market, and of course the new 406 megahertz ELTs. Uh, it's a handheld device. It is powered by four ubiquit ubiquitous uh, AA batteries. Uh, it decodes the hex ID, the country code, the 24-bit ICAO code, and the GPS lat long. Uh, it can be used uh, as a radiated test that comes with an antenna. And uh, you can actually get accurate power measurements if you stand uh, 15 feet away from the ELT antenna. Or you could do a direct coupled connection to an ELT using a supplied attenuator that lets you perform a test without worrying what time of day it is or you don't have to worry about radiating any power. Uh, it uh, has numerous displays um, on the 406 decoding. It will show the entire message uh, we'll show the lat long of the uh, GPS if it's connected, uh, the phase, the time of transmission. Uh, it shows the power uh, in DBM of, on all three bands if they're available, or two of them, or, or one of them. Uh, it also measures the frequency of all three ELT frequencies exactly to within a couple hertz. Um, and it also uh, records up to 10 measurements in the unit. So they can be downloaded to a PC and archived uh, for proof that you did, did the tests. So when it's important that these guys be able to find the, the, uh, the aircraft that went down, it's important that the ELT help guide them to that location. And so this is a tester that has a transflective display for sunlight readability. Uh, it also has a backlight for use in uh, dimly lit hangars. It has very large function keys that make it very easy to use. Uh, these are being distributed by Dallas uh, Avionics and Edmo, and it is value priced at $2,495. So stop down to their booths and have a look at it. Thank you. Aero TV's live coverage of the 55th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. The True Blue Power TI-1200 Static Inverter supplies power for VIP cabin configurations, EMS, and law enforcement, and pumps out 1,200 watts of True Blue Power. Available from your local avionics dealer.